Hello everyone, good evening, welcome back to Bloodborne. So, I have been fighting the final boss, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I don't know what else would come after it. I'm assuming it's the final boss of the DLC, the Old Hunters, and uh, that is a really tough fight. I've been fighting him for like half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe a full hour, I don't know. Time loses all meaning when you're just running through that boss fight again and again. I've gotten really close a couple times, and I've... I've died without landing a hit on him a couple times as well, so that's just... That whole fight seems to be very hit or miss. Um, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a break from that fight because it's it's starting to drive me a little crazy. And we're going to go do something else. So I've mentioned this a handful of times. We have Lawrence's skull here. I always thought Lawrence's skull was the one that you touch after the Vicar Amelia fight, and it shows you the flashback of Lawrence and Master Willem, and then you learn Fear of the Old Blood, and that lets you get into Bergenworth and all that stuff. Um, we found Lawrence's skull in the Nightmare, in the Hunter's Nightmare, and it's a key item, and we haven't done anything with it. So I'm going to go back to the Cathedral, way back at the beginning of the Hunter's Nightmare, and... We're going to go see if I can, like, interact with that or anything. Because I thought... Well, here, we'll just... Let's just... Let's go back there. I'll continue talking on the other side of the loading screens. I also want to point out... I have had way too much caffeine. Considering how early in the day it is. And so that's probably not helping. That and the boss fight, I'm, like, super jittery. It's probably not helping. Uh... I don't think we want to go this way. I think we just want to march right up the gut, right through the beginning, which means fighting some uh, hunters, which I haven't done in a little bit. So we'll see how this goes. I totally forgot what I was saying, which is probably a good thing. Oh, the first time that we came back, we were coming through this area and I we went up into the cathedral, you know, and it's where you encounter Vicar Amelia in the like base game. And my, like, main thought was, oh, this is definitely a boss fight here. Okay, not cool. Jerk. And then it wasn't a boss fight. And then it looks like um, there's, like, Vicar Amelia or something on the, uh... Like... The whole building is on fire. It looks like there's Vicar Amelia. Oh my gosh, you're getting blood vials. This is amazing. Or, or something like draped over the thing, the altar in the back. Like there's a lot going on there. There's a there's a whole heck of a lot going on there. And it was kind of freaking me out. And then it wasn't actually a boss fight. Well, if we put Lawrence's skull on there, I'm suspecting it might actually become a boss fight. Just so we're all clear on that. I'm trading out one horrible boss fight for what's presumably going to be another one. Okay. Alright, I'm not doing so hot against you. Okay, that was... I've burnt through most of my bullets and a whole bunch of blood vials, and we're not even at the boss yet. This is kind of awful. I don't know if there's a faster way to get here. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what was going on up here? There's a hunter, right? Yes, there's a hunter over on the other side there. Oh, and this is the dude with the obnoxious gun. Oh, but he's got the scythe. Hey, I got that too. We're scythe buddies. Alright, well... I would love to get some more... Oh, right, the big flaming boulder. Also gonna have the demonic squid face giant. 
not demonic, the uh, Lovecraftian. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's terrifying, because now I have to fight you. Maybe terrifying is not the right word. Okay, we're fully restocked on blood vials at least, so that's pretty damn good. Okay, I get why that guy's there now, because you go through all that stuff, and then he restocks your blood vials before you enter the fight. That's cool. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, gosh. I probably do want the Tonitrus, don't I? Considering it's my only plus ten weapon right now. I hope this actually works. If this doesn't work, I am not sure what I want to do instead. By the way, um, while fighting the Orphan of Koss, I did swap around my gear. You could probably tell I have a hood instead of a uh, cauliflower on my head. I'm, I'm mostly a mix of like the Yargul sets, the Yahargul Hidden Village set, and uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. The Beast Hide Garb because it's got crazy good physical defense and crap everything else. And the physical defense I was hoping would help me a little bit against Orphan. Yeah, we got a cutscene. There's a boss fight here. Well... Crap. Is that what we're fighting? Shit, it's Lawrence. And you're a flaming cleric beast. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, not that explosion, though. Holy crap, you do a lot of damage. Holy crap, you have a lot of defense, too. You have so much health. This is interesting. Okay, you have a grab attack. I really don't want to get hit by that. Or anything else that you do either, for that matter. Holy moly. I broke something on him, because that did a good chunk of damage. I probably should swap over to, like, actual fire-resistant armor. Heal yourself? What did you do?
Alright, so I think the thing that was really doing me in there was when he did his, like, slam attack, and then when he lifted his hand back and everything exploded with fire. Um, oh, the Bone Ash Mask is actually probably going to be great for this. The Bone Ash Armor? Because that's, like, all fire and physical. Well, fire and rust. But yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go all in on that. Hope that that helps. Um, I may want to also tweak my runes. That was the other thing I forgot to mention. Um, I, I mentioned that I had swapped out my runes. I didn't mention what I had swapped them out to. Um, so we still have more echoes from slain enemies. We still have max stamina. I might ditch the moon rune, which is sad because I like the extra blood echoes, but it's not it's not huge. Um, and then I'm a hunter of hunter, hunter of hunters again because I like the extra stamina recovery speed. And it was really helping me out in the other boss fight. Um, max blood vials plus three. <laughs> yeah. So I can go tweak my runes a little bit. I might go with fire resistant runes. Um, yeah. The Lawrence here, when he did his little like slam his ground, slam, slam his ground into the hand. Oh, if I mentioned that I've had so much caffeine, I'm like just jittery and I can't even think straight anymore. Oh my gosh, you stop it with your stupid shotgun. Will you knock it off, you jerk? Why are you doing this? Use your other weapon. That was a case of be careful what you ask for. There we go. Get him. No, what? I'm gonna die to this freaking hunter here, aren't I? This is not going well. I wonder if the Amygdala Club would be useful to use against these hunters here. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. There's another one around the corner here. Um... Yeah, I think the, the bulk of the damage I was taking in that fight that was really, really messing me up was the fire damage, so I'm hoping that this will, like, mitigate the fire damage, and that I'll actually be able to, like, do okay on the fight here. That's what we wanted. Uh, Squiddy might be a bit of a problem with this, though. If we do get, like, a guaranteed five blood vials or so each time for this, that would be amazing. Thank you, camera. Very helpful. Oh my gosh, that worked. Chained viscerals. Oh, so good. Okay, so let's use that. Six, six blood vials. Holy crap, that's a pretty sweet. Okay. And then here we go again. I don't know, Tonatrus doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage, but it might just be because this guy has so much health. Lawrence. It didn't even occur to me. So honestly, I was fully expecting that we were going to fight whoever had killed that beast and put it up there. It didn't even click to for me that he's the first cleric beast because he was like one of the founders of the church or something, or he was like a significant early member of the church. He was the first Vicar, at least. Okay, that's better. I took much less damage. I still took a lot, but one blood vial to fix that was fine. really 
not sure what to do in this fight. Like, I don't know where to hit you. Like, where I should be standing, where I should be aiming. Other than just not get grabbed. I get that. And he has two grab attacks. So he has one with both hands and one with just his bigger hand. Gosh darn it, that fire is devastatingly powerful. I probably want to get a fire rune going on instead of the, uh, the moon rune. Get off! Oh, that's annoying. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That was an obnoxious attack that he kept doing over and over again. It was really obnoxious, just that one attack. Ah. Alright. Go, Cthulhu creature, go! I like that they're at least getting in a couple of hits against Cthulhu there. might be a problem. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die here. I died to Cthulhu that time. Crap. How good of a fire rune do I have? 5% damage reduction. I don't know if that's terribly significant. I think I'm going to go give it a shot anyway. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go swap runes, uh, and then I'm just going to come back here and fight this boss, or maybe I'm going to go fight the other boss. I don't know. I'm going to be balancing back and forth between these bosses until I beat one of them, and then I'm going to do the other one until I beat that one too. So I'm going to sign off here. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll show you anything interesting that may or may not happen. So thank you for joining me and may the good blood guide your way.